Hey everybody, Justin here from REI Rail. Um, this video is for people who are part of the beta program for Text to Skip. And if you missed our last mastermind, Text to Skip, or if you even missed Max posting it in Wholesaling Houses Elite, Text to Skip is a new feature that we're rolling out as part of REI Skip 2.0. And um, what it's gonna allow you to do is skip trace essentially right through your cell phone. Um, so the idea is that you would be able to get on-demand skips really fast, but um, you know, in typical fashion, like how we like to do things here at REI Rail, um, it's just not phone numbers by itself. It's also linked in a deep trace, and it's also um, in fully integrated with your REI Rail account. So I'm going to show you how that works now. All right. So those of you who responded, listen closely and watch um, as I set up a campaign that is ready to receive texts or skips from um, text to skip. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna log into your REI Rail account. I'm already logged in, this is my, my campaign screen. And um, I'm gonna create a brand new campaign. Now this will work with existing campaigns, but just um, how I like to do things is keep things separate. So I'm actually gonna start a brand new campaign. And I'm gonna call this campaign um, text to skip. So I'm gonna type here uh, text to skip. Um, and I'll call it my D for D campaign, or really my walking campaign. Um, so I'll hit next. Do I want to use REI Rails advanced ringless voicemail drop system for this campaign? Yes. If you want to send RVMs through text to skip, you're going to have to choose yes for this. Do you have a list? So I'm going to choose I'll upload a list later. Um, with text to skip, it actually generates an empty list for you so that it can dump your um, your skip traces that you send to text to skip through your through um, your messaging app or through your SMS app um, right into REI Rail. So great. Do we do we want to remove numbers that are on the DNC list? I'm going to say yes. I always want to stay compliant. Um, and for the sake of this example, I'm going to choose an existing tracking number. Um, and that's it. I'm done. I look it over. Everything looks good. Create my campaign. Great, my campaign's complete. I got the little uh, wizard. Um, so now I'm gonna go and set up my recording. All right, so I already have some pre-recorded um, messages here. I'm gonna go with this joke, this uh, Justin local investor recording. Let me make sure it still sounds good. Hey, my name's Justin, I'm a local investor. I just Okay, so that's it. You don't need to hear, be bored with that. So I'm gonna select that. And um, I'm going to go and set up my RVM scheduler. Now, let's take a little break and, and you know talk a little bit about how I'm going to use it. So I go on walks with my wife. Now we got three kids, so um, we don't get to do it often. But when we do, um, she also is a realtor. So as we're walking, we'll typically see a house that it looks like they're about to move. So this could be a great realtor client for her. Um, I, I also sometimes will go buy homes that look like great wholesale opportunities. And we always say when we get home, we're going to, you know, write them a letter. We're going to call them. We're going to do whatever, contact them in some way, add them to our list. And we just, we never get around to it. And, um, I even use a, a driving for dollars app. Um, and it, we still just never kind of get around to it. Now, what this is going to allow you to do is to send RVMs right there on demand um, and not have to worry about it. So I'm going to set my schedule to be wide. I'm going to set it for the entire day because whenever I see an opportunity, I'm just going to want to drop an RVM right then. Now it will respect the schedule. So that means if you only want it to go out between say four and six thirty PM when you get off of work, but, um, you see an opportunity at one in the afternoon, you can still, tell text to skip to drop that person and it'll drop within the schedule that you've associated with um, text to skip the camp you know the schedule for the campaign that you've associated with text to skip so I'm just going to open it wide I'm going to have my schedule set actually for the entire day um, all right there we go so it's set I'm going to save this schedule and then the last step is I'm going to Hit start campaign so that my campaign um, gets going and that it and, uh, gets out of pause status. It takes about a minute or so to update. Now, here's the, the last step. You've got to go to this new area called integrations. Okay. 
and you got to go to this text to skip integration. You have to choose which campaign you want associated with text to skip. So I'm going to choose this new text to skip D4D campaign that we just created. So now it's created. Um, I mean, it's, it's associated with my text to skip membership. And also you can see my phone number is already there too. So for all of you who are on the beta program, this number will be pre-filled. So you won't have to even worry about setting that up and, and we won't let you edit it just yet. Um, when, when it's fully released, we'll allow it, okay? So now everything is set up inside of REI Rail and I'm gonna go into my cell phone and I'm gonna create a new message um, to text to skip. So I'm just gonna type text to skip now. I saved it in my phone. So um, I sent everyone an email with the text to skip number, which is 202-798-1333. And I suggest that you just save it as a contact as text to skip inside your, inside your phone. So here it is, text to skip. Now I'm gonna send it um, an address of a property, one of the, pro like a property that I own. Um, all right, and now, Here's the cool thing. You don't have to actually put in the full address. Text to skip is gonna figure it out if you, if you kind of mess the address up. If you don't know the zip code, often when you're driving around, you don't know the zip code, but you do know the house number, the street name, you do know the city, and you do know the state. So just give those three, and you don't even need commas, you don't need any of that stuff. For state, always use the you know two character code, like VA, don't type Virginia, um, but Text to skip will figure it out, but just make it as easy as possible for text to skip to help you. So that's what we that's what I, I entered, um, just street name. And you can see text to skip then asks, is this the correct address? And it did the fully formatted address, so it, it validated and corrected the address. And I'm going to say yes. Okay, so once I say yes, now text to script uh, text to skip is actually running and it already returned a result. And so it says um, the owner for this property is Justin Winters. The home has a potential ARV of um, that number there. And then also possible phone numbers for Justin are. And then those are my phone numbers. And um, it asks me, do you want to send an RBM from your account? Now, I've been testing, so I've used this address already. Um, and you will also see at the top, it says this is a duplicate request. You are not charged. So if you do send multiple addresses, the same, you know, an, an address multiple times, um, you won't be charged over and over for the same address. It'll get stored in your account. OK. Um, and so I'm going to reply. Yes, I, I want to send an RVM to, to Justin. So I hit yes. And um, now that request was sent and what came back. Text to skip said, OK, we added the contact to your campaign and RVM drops have been added to your scheduler for campaign text to skip D4D campaign. So that's the campaign that we associated with it. Now, if I actually come inside of REI Rail and I go to campaigns and I look inside that text to skip D4D campaign that we just created, I need to go to contacts because that's where um, I will see the contacts that were just added. Oh, sorry. Okay. So here I am inside of contacts where they were added. And you can see for um, what text to skip did is that it added Justin Winters inside this contact list, the address, the city, the state, and the zip, the phone numbers um, that text to skip returned. And it also added labels. So you can see this was a text to skip. And you can see here that the RVM has been queued for both phone numbers, 571-205-7304, and the other phone number that I had listed. So the RVM has been queued for both of these um, phone numbers that were uh, returned. And this will give you your status, so you'll be able to know what the status is. Um, so we're going to wait for those RVM to drop, for those RVMs to drop, and when they drop, we'll come back and... Um, you know, we'll finish this video. Okay, everybody, we're back. And um, it took maybe about five minutes or so. Um, and 
you can see here I'm in my contact list and the the tags for each of the phone numbers updated to RVM success so you'll know whether or not it was it was successful or whether or not it failed or unanswered um, you'll see it right here on your dashboard so and I know what many of you are thinking like man that'd be great if I had that um, those type of updates with my regular uh, uh, campaigns my RVM campaigns but when you were, when you were doing on-demand RVM um, in, in this way we can provide those updates because it's happening one at a time we're not at the point yet where we can do it via bulk um, so many of you know there is a report that you can download that'll tell you everything that happened for the day so um, and if you're not aware of that shoot support a note and I'll show you they'll show you how to do that um, but uh, you know this is it I mean you know RVMs dropped they were successful um, if you look here on my cell phone you can actually see that the uh, the message did come through from uh, from and there's my you know hey my name is Justin I'm, I'm an investor um, so, yeah, so the RVM dropped. Hey, my name's Justin. I'm a local investor. I just drove by your house. Uh, okay. Um, so, test message worked. It actually dropped um, right from my text messaging. So, you know, that's it. That's how text to skip works. So, hopefully, you all can use it. It'll be helpful in your businesses. Um, for those of you who are in the beta program, please give me feedback. If there are any issues, just go ahead and send them to Justin at reirail.com. Send them to me directly. Uh, that way um, I can figure out and, and get you going as quickly as possible. But that's it. So I'm um, looking forward to this being a, a big part of um, REI Skip when we release the new REI Skip. Um, this will be available to everyone, regardless of whether or not you're an REI Rail user. Um, but REI Rail users will get this added benefit of being able to drop RVMs and having an update right in their accounts um, real time as, uh, as they're out in the, in the wild looking for property. So um, that's it for now. I will see you all soon. Hopefully you're all in the Facebook group and we're talking every day. And I look forward to hearing uh, about your businesses and, and how this helps. Thanks. See you later.